the crossroads once more, you find yourself preparing for what is ahead. Cowardice, the ultimate battle, the body of work, the sum total of your crime. But you've faced it before, you've felled it before, and you'll fell it again and again until hope is truly kindled, fresh and new forever. You'll need help, though. And old friends stick in your memory. A sisterhood of battle and victory. Perhaps it's time for them to ride out once more. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Loki Ord, and we're back at it, heading into another named run with a new formation. Or rather, a return of a very old formation. Uh, Long-time viewers of the channel, or people who've... Uh, you know, people who've gone back and watched past stuff will recognize the characters here as this is the Sisters of Battle formation. Um, actually, I believe the Sisters of Battle formation actually involves, there it is, the Grave Robber. Uh, so this is a variant. We're bringing in the Vestal instead of the Grave Robber for the Sisters of Mercy. Uh, but let's go ahead and meet our contestants. Uh, I mean, like, I don't know what I don't know what to say. Viridia, Seraph. That it's what it's what she needs to be. Alchemist Paracelsus, though. I think Alchemist... Ooh, this is tough. On the one hand, Alchemist Paracelsus is quite good. But we can also make use of Incision, which makes Cause of Death. Because we're in the third rank. I kind of... Actually, yeah, we are going to switch to Surgeon here. And there's actually a very specific reason that we're going to do that. We're going to swap to Surgeon here, which does mean we're probably getting rid of Noxious Blast. Let's let's fully reset here. Something like that. Um, and the reason is that we're also bringing up a character that hasn't you know hasn't gotten a lot of playtime recently. Bonnie, the um, Runaway. And specifically, um, I think we're going to give her the Arsonist. Uh, because she's just going to be setting fire to a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is this is the plan. So we'll take her out as an Arsonist. Um, and specifically, let's, let's fully clear this out. Uh, specifically because we are in a position to make use of Dragonfly, Smokescreen, Firefly, Ransack, Cauterize. And specifically, what we're going to be trying to do here is dance the Plague Doctor. The Plague Doctor, the Runaway, and the Hellion can all comfortably dance around. Specifically because the Plague Doctor is going to have options with Incision. Now, I will say that this probably isn't the best. It may be better for Bonnie to, to dance with uh, the Hellion here. Uh, but uh, we're going to... Uh, we're going to see how that uh, that plays out here. I think Ravager. Ravager's still plenty good here. So yeah. Let's take out the Sisters of Mercy. Though I will say... Um, I don't know how much mercy the Sisters of Mercy are going to have. <laughs> as we dive in here. Um, I do remember when we did the Altar of Light. Uh, we picked up some items that are not necessarily going to be that useful for this party. The time for denial. Uh, specifically, if I can remember buttons here. Yeah, specifically the rat skull, that's useless to us. Everything else is useful, though. And we'll head in. So, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. Let's talk about, uh, Sisters of Mercy here. Uh, so what immediately sticks out to me about this formation, like it did for Sisters of Battle, which is one of the first named formation runs I ever did, um, is how stable this formation should be. Um... The Hellion makes a great tank and damage dealer. Uh, the Surgeon Plague Doctor is quite durable, dealing a lot, quite a lot of damage. Let's let's try the Dragonfly angle here. Um, is dealing quite a lot of damage in her own right. Uh, the jeez uh, words. The um, Runaway is providing both kind of sustainable self healing and debuffing. What the heck? We'll do something like this. And, you know, overall you just have a very well-rounded formation that's capable of getting pretty much anything you want done. 
Uh, thinking about kind of our specific iron triangle here, um, the first place we'll start is with health, I think. And I think that's that's an area that this formation does quite a bit of work in. Ooh, eh, whatever. We're just going to obliterate this thing. I was kind of setting up to use this combo token, but it's sadly not going to matter here. Okay, that thing's just dead anyway. Uh, but from a from a like kind of health standpoint, this party is quite durable. The Vestal and Hellion have quite large HP pools. Um, both can heal. The, the Hellion can only heal herself, though. Um, and then you have the Plague Doctor, who is you know probably the healer par excellence, or at least in my opinion, is the healer par excellence in the um, in the game. And uh, while she is moving perhaps a bit more than we'd really like. She's there still going to be quite effective at keeping work. people up. And her dance partner, Bonnie, is an off-healer because she can only really heal herself unless you have a bleed. But Bonnie has... There's a lot of bleeds in kind of like the hard fights, so it's pretty reasonable. Damage we kind of already touched on. I think quite a lot of damage output. We have strong single-target damage in Iridia and Boudica, Bonnie and Paracelsus are pumping out either strong single target or strong um, damage over time effects. Uh, you know, in the end, quite durable, quite strong. Stress healing is going to be this party's struggle. Um, really, Iridia is the only one who has a stress heal, and it's not a particularly good one. And Boudica can do a little bit of stress healing for herself and for the party as a whole, but it's not great. So that's that's kind of what we're uh, we're looking down here, but let's uh, let's stop talking about that and get into this. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ooh, we could go straight to the Fodor. Visiting an oasis though is pretty good, and that heat shield would be pretty good if we go to the sprawl. I think I'd rather go to the sh the shroud here. Yeah. I think I'd rather go to the Shroud. The Fodor is very tempting, but like, I don't know. I think we're gonna we're gonna plan to go to the Shroud and see what the Provisioner gives us. We'll resolve pets in a moment here. And secrets. Wolf's blood. Oh well, that that kind of solves that. We have the Shroud book. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you're gonna give us the Shroud book, like we'll go to the Shroud. Um, who do we want to take out? Um, Pliskin. That's tempting. Crocodile's tempting, but I don't think we're moving enough for Crocodile to really be functional. Um, Paracelsus and Bonnie will be moving a fair bit, or Bonnie and uh, the Hellion will be moving. But we don't have a party that's like going to stack this up really aggressively. So I don't think it's that. Um, we have road gear, so we're, we're looking at like the slime... Debuff resistance is pretty good. Is this just a slime run? Could always do the tick. The tick never feels bad. Tick never feels bad, and rabbit never feels awful. Uh, I kind of liked the slime run, though, just resisting debuffs. That actually seems kind of good. So let's pop in the... Uh, we'll pop in the slime here. A little extra... We have a scouting gear and a road gear, so not perfect, but good enough. Uh, Food-wise, we definitely need food. So let's just grab apples and cheese, apples and cheese. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, because now we can at least... Oh, who who's gonna? Oh, what is? Why is Boudica not? She is melophobic. Is there a way? Do we have a way to get rid of that? Uh, sadly no. Sadly no. Okay. Well, there's a chance we get an opportunity to remove that, but we won't get to use this. So we'll put this on. Um, we'll put this on Bonnie. Uh, we will put steak and spuds there. Kind of gas the uh, party up here. And who needs Amorous Ballads? Does it really matter? It doesn't really matter. So let's just do uh, Bonnie and Paracelsus, sure. Oh, well, that they hated that. Um, the rest of this... None of these combat items really do much for me. Stress healing? Eh, not worth it. 
So we'll buy the whiskey flasks. Just, uh... Oh. Okay. Just fix that. But, unfortunately, you can't do anything more. Uh, sure. Sure. And finally, mastery Ooh, points. Mastery. Now, this is, this is going to be a little finicky. How do we do this? Do we just go straight for the incision upgrade? I think we do. I think we just go straight for the incision upgrade. Get maximum damage uh, for our... For our girl here. And I think that means the dragonfly upgrade probably comes in too. Or maybe firefly. Because she is, she is going to frequently dragonfly turn one. And then maybe she can just live fireflying unless the plague doctor feels like she has to move back to heal. Yeah, that actually feels pretty good. Eh, all right. We'll give this a go. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. This is a interesting formation. It is the Sisters of Mercy uh, heading into the Shroud. We'll see you in the next one.